In order to add exponents, we have to follow this rule. x to the power of any number n times x to the power of any number m is equal to x to the power of any number n plus any number m. For example, here we have x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 37. That is equal to x to the power of 3 plus 37, which is equal to x to the power of 40. Another example is x to the power of negative 1 half times x to the power of 3 times, times x to the power of 15 over 2. That is equal to x to the power of negative 1 half plus 3 plus 15 over 2, which is equal to x to the power of 10. You also have to keep in mind that you can only add exponents with similar variables. So if we have x to the power of 3 times y squared times x to the power of 11 over 2, that is going to be equal to x to the power of 3 plus 11 over 2 times y or to y to the power of 2, which is equal to x to the power of 17, 17 over 2 times y squared. Here the only two numbers that we added were this one and this one because both of them had the same variable x and we just left that as it is. Another example is uh, if we have 2x to a part of r times 3y cubed times 5x to a part of 3r times y to a part of r that is equal to so what we do here is look for the similar variables so this one and this one are alike and this one and this one are alike so we get 5 times 2 is 10, so 10x to the power of 3r plus r times 3 and 1 is 3, so 3y to the power of 3 plus r, and that is equal to 10x to the power of 4r times 3y to the power of 3 plus r. That's our answer.